Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of the Crazy Town Podcast. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive one, TNT, Niano, M-I-G-H-T. What's up, Joni? Dude. Joni. It's been jo -Jo. so long since we've sat down. Now we're doing a couple, we're trying to get a couple of week out, which is fine, they're shorter, it's quick been hits. It's so long since we sat down. Yeah, dude. What are we, just like standing up everywhere we go? Yeah, dude. It's like we gotta sit down and like rap about the couple days it's been since we, I'm trying to, I'm trying to put on a show like we don't oh, maybe, yeah, yeah, yeah. Since like, we've sat down together. Yeah, that's what I meant. Oh, well, yeah, it has been a while yeah, since Yeah, dude, that. you know how it goes. Fair enough. <clears throat> but we want to thank you for joining us today on the Crazy Town Podcast. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, Crazy Town Media, it's, you get all these podcasts, plus you get 2,000 game playthrough videos on I, top I don't know what's wrong with you people. That YouTube is, is popping. It is. It's like a big-ass zit on a high school kid's forehead. Just ready to erupt all Ow. over its date. Bad down. <laughs> also, uh, Spotify, iTunes, every other podcast motherfucking thing out there, subscribe, follow, yeah. do it, tell your friends. Yep. Crazy Town rap album on its way. Uh, Hopefully. We've been working on tracks. Oh, dude. Day bars. and night, Ron. That's bars. Right. There's so many bars, you would think I was drunk. I just want to say that I'm lying. Yeah, we, we're lying. We have not done any work towards it. Um, you it, know. You need the light on? No, nah, dude. I'm just trying to. <laughs> I'm just, try, I'm just trying, trying to read. I'm no, I'm I'm you're gonna, don't, looking. Don't it's turning the light. freaking light on, dude. Hey, it's man, okay. It's, I saw your eyes. Go ahead. All right, dude. You're whatever. You don't even have your glasses. <laughs> <laughs> whatever, dude. Get the fuck out of here. All right, dude. So, have you ever, have you ever went to aid a neighbor in distress before? Have you ever had a neighbor that had a problem and you helped them? Jonas, this is gonna sound awful. <laughs> you're like, I watched a lady die. No. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's funny because we just brought up bad neighbors. Right, this would be a good neighbor. Like I'm, I'm not adverse to helping people of my own volition. Okay, like if I saw a person like fall and was dangling off the a, a, a tower, I'm more apt to go and get that person if they don't scream for help. Really? Does that make sense? <laughs> it's like you want to do it because you want to, not because they asked. There we go. <laughs> I'm more apt to help. If it is not as so, if someone's drowning and they're not screaming, "I'm drowning," you're more apt to be yeah, like, "Yeah, I'll be oh, like, oh shit, I think that person, you know, like my instinct kicks in." But as soon as they're like, "Help, I'm drowning," like, "Help, I'm drowning, bitch!" Wow, <laughs> that's the way I feel. Wow, okay, but I, I don't know. I guess most I've... people don't uh, need to scream for help until they. <laughs> no, obviously, I'm being a little, I know, uh, a little facetious here, but I, I don't you. know. I've yeah, I guess I've helped neighbors before. I mean. You get so much from me until it's just like, if it becomes a problem with you asking for help, I'm like, get the fuck out of my face. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. I Have I ever helped a neighbor? Like uh, a good neighbor, Jonas is there. I don't, I mean, I don't think it's ever come up. I mean, I'm sure there has been something, but nothing. You never like help a neighbor move something? I've helped people like move a couch because they're just like, hey, you're big. Yeah. <laughs> I can move something heavy. I'm like, oh, great. I, I That's all I am to you. I ask to help people more than them asking like i like i was at the grocery store the, like maybe a week or two ago and there was this like there was this young woman and she was trying to pull this like 50 pound bag of dog food out of her cart into her trunk mm -hmm. and she was obviously having a very hard time did she ask you she did not oh see Doesn't i that was feel in, great i was in the next aisle over yeah and i beelined like straight to her and i was like do you need some help with that and she was like Thank you so much. She's like, I don't know why I even put it in the cart. I could absolutely use some help. And I was like, no problem. I picked it up, threw it in, the, in her trunk for her. And she was like, thank you so much. And that was and that was it. But Oh, man. Being a woman is crazy. Well, she probably was like, is this guy going to try to rob me? <laughs> is he coming up to hit on me? Yeah, was she hot? She was okay. She I'm was so sorry, sorry, John. Look, we're men, all right? This is uh, surprise, motherfucker. We're guys. So I'm going to talk about girls. <laughs> Are we guys? Yeah, okay. we're going to talk about girls. So here's the story. This happened in Berkshire, which I think is in England. It sounds like it. Berkshire, Florida. We'll yeah, say that. There we go. A neighbor heard distress coming from his other neighbor's apartment. Oh my god. He's Jones. he's we, screaming. We just had the whole neighbor episode. We could have did the whole neighbor yeah, episode. Yeah, I didn't even last know, episode. man. I didn't even realize. It's all right. It's okay, dude. 
Um, he he goes over to find two pit bulls viciously trying to get into this door that his neighbor is behind. Okay. He comes into his neighbor's apartment. They're friends. He comes in. There's two pit bulls in there. And he's like, oh, shit. My, my friend is about to get attacked by these pit bulls. So just like what any good friend was, would do to try to prevent this from happening, he goes to get his crossbow. No. <laughs> Why is he? Wait, he doesn't shoot the puppies, so, does he? So he's like, okay, I guess I'm going to have to shoot the puppies with a crossbow because, no. because they're trying to viciously attack my friend. And uh, it said that he was licensed to have the crossbow for hunting, so it wasn't an illegal crossbow. Okay, all right, fair enough. He fires the crossbow. It goes through the fucking door and kills his friend. Shut the fuck. How, how do you miss? No, Jonas. Best part. No. Not really the best part. Worst part. No. He calls the cops. No. Cops come. The dogs come at the cops. The cops kill both the dogs. Jeez. So now everyone's dead. This is a sad story. Right. Um... They said the dogs are no, were normally kept in separate cages because they were pit bulls, and they have they have been in trouble for attacking people before. Yeah, see, that's unfortunate. Yeah, because I think with dogs, isn't it if they if like you only get one chance? I think with a dog, if they attack somebody, I don't know. I think you get one other chance before they require them to be put down. Yeah, that's unfortunate. But my my real question is like. Were these pit bulls like five foot four or something? Yeah, I was. My, that was my question. It was like, if you can't hold a door closed with two dogs trying to get in, how weak the motherfucker are you? No, I'm more referring to the fact of dogs are usually pretty terrestrial, meaning or and they're closer to the ground. Right. So how the hell did you aim for the dogs? You would aim down with a crossbow to aim at the dogs. But I, my guess is they were maybe they were up on two legs, like on the door. Okay, okay, all right. And he missed and went through the door. Oh, okay. got his buddy. All right, I'll, I'll but buy why that. would you get a fucking crossbow, dude? I go mean, get a steak out of your freezer and throw it. The fucking dogs will go leave the door. What the hell? This isn't Looney Tunes. <laughs> it would work. <laughs> Fuck you! Why didn't they he just have a gun? They obviously got a taste for blood. Now that I think about it, the steak idea is absolutely <laughs> retarded. It is, it is <laughs> steak not. I, no, that's retarded. No, you're just going to get a steak and throw it. Like, I'm going to go in my freezer, get a frozen steak. Oh, wait, maybe I can warm it up. Let me set my oven to 500 Dude, degrees. If, if I feel if my neighbor can't hold two dogs from pushing a bedroom door open for five minutes while I thaw out a steak. I mean, okay, and then I'm thinking, like, you can get the gun. And then I'm like, well, that just sounds dangerous. <laughs> right. So next logical step is crossbow, right? You need to protect. <laughs> next, next, I mean, everybody's got one of those, right? It's actually the least dumb of the three ideas presented. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. It is. Get a steak. I was, I was just being. I know it. Myself. I get it. Like, who would really do that? Like you said, Elmer Fudd would be All like, right. here you go, that was that was a good story, Joe. Yeah, dude, I like it. I didn't want to like make it all neighbors last episode. I Actually, I totally forgot I had this till I looked at That's what okay. I had. It's fine. Uh, so Jonas, uh, another neighbor story. Really? Yeah, Columbia, our neighbor to the north. It, it, yes, I don't, know, I don't know where Columbia it's is. It's in South America. Okay, neighbor to the south, way south. <laughs> yeah, way south, way south. Where <laughs> Columbia is? You I thought don't. it was in Canada? No, I mean I knew it wasn't in Canada, but I didn't know where it was. Where's like District of Columbia? That's in that's America, that's right? our state, our country's capital, Washington D.C. District of Columbia. <gasps> that's what the D.C. <laughs> stands for. Look, Jonas, man, I have a very specialized set of tools, and geography <laughs> is not one of them. You're like, I need geography in my line of work? Never. So I don't give a fuck where anything I, is. I feel like, just in general, I need geography never. Why? You need to know where China is. Jonas, you need to know when, where Japan is. You when need to know has where... it ever been important, outside of specialized uh, uh, occupations, that geography has come up and you've been like the hero of the day? Or that it served you in like just like your day to day. Has somebody ever been like, motherfucker, gun to your head? Where's uh, Iraq? Point, Point to, to Port Iraq on a map. <laughs> Point to Portugal on a map, or you die. Oh my god. Exa never. I don't know. <laughs> Either way, I feel like there's other things that we can focus our brain power on. Geography. Yeah, man. So I, kids, uh, you know, go ahead, skip out on geography class. Wow. Anyway. All <laughs> education is worthwhile. Well, we're going to educate him on Pablo Escobar. He died in 1993, oh, Cocaine yeah. Empire. He's yeah, familiar dude. familiar with that? Yeah. You ever, you ever done coke? Nope. Good. 
<laughs> All right, there was that. <laughs> All right, regardless, Pablo Escobar, uh, very wealthy. Yes. Oh, lived, yeah. Lived in Colombia. He had a zoo full of exotic animals. Yes. A lot of them were uh, relocated after he passed away and all of his assets were seized. Um, is that what that new Netflix documentary is about? I don't know. I don't. Something I don't, about tigers. I don't keep. Is there something about it. tigers with him? Yo, you're talking about the Tiger Man, dude. Yeah. Yo, you should watch that. Have you seen it? You no, but Netflix. I've heard good things about it, and I know the story because I remember when he ran for president. Oh, okay. it's a really good story. Oh, okay, I'll watch it. Crazy though, yeah. like. There's, I love crazy stories. There's anyway. some in-depth stuff. We could do a whole episode on that motherfucker. <laughs> um, like uh, John McAfee, too. So, guy, <laughs> he's crazy, too. It, it's similar to that story, actually. So even um, even though the zoo animals were located, there were still four hippos that were unaccounted for. Right. Um, I'm not going to call them cocaine hippos. There's a lot of people call them cocaine hippos, but that implicates that he put cocaine inside the hippos. And at no point are they is, addicted to cocaine? Is there any proof that the hippos have been exposed to cocaine? Okay. All but right. they are cocaine hippos, meaning that he bought them with cocaine cash. Okay. Cocaine. What fun have you bucks. bought with cocaine cash? What cocaine fun bucks, dude? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> gamer points. <laughs> I bought Betty Crocker points for the catalog. <laughs> <laughs> Women with low self-esteem. Oh, Jesus. Um, <laughs> either way, in Colombia, it is a uh, Med Medellin, Medellin, Med I, that is Medellin. Med I don't know. Either way. Sure. In Something, Columbia, truth, not facts. There was four adult hippos that yes. were unaccounted for. Okay. Currently, in this area, there are now 50 to 80 hippos. Yeah, they all banged and reproduced. Yeah, you would think that'd be a lot of inbreeding, though. I don't know if that I has. I mean, that's like... kind of what animals do, though. No. Like. Yeah, but no. Well, here, here's the thing that always messes with me about animals. They're like, they're all like, they're in danger. There's only two females and one male left in the world. I'm like, they're all gonna be inbred because you are using three people to mate all of them. Yeah, like it just it kind of feels like it would just stretch a little thin. Like now, animals in the wild, they are more apt to go outside of their own lineage. But if there's no other choice, like man, they're like, hey, look, it's like being in prison. You know, <laughs> I'm gonna, just gay for the stay. I'm just gay. <laughs> is that a is that a prison meta it is definitely a prison term okay <laughs> you know i'm just here look there's nothing else i can do sis you're looking kind of i good. gotta get my nut off regardless yeah so put in your sister if you're an animal not if you're a human yeah yeah okay. there's an estimation that by 2050 which is in like 30 years there'll be 800 plus hippos were they extinct or facing extinction I don't know if hippos are n n indigenous to this part of Colombia. I'm pretty sure they're from like Africa, but oh, like oh, now now Colombia has like an, a hippo population that they never did before. Yeah. Like I don't know I if they it. were if they were there before. To be honest, I mean, I guess it is kind of it's South America, so it may be like jungle ish. Yeah, because hippo area. like what what is like the the perfect climate for a hippo? It's obviously like marshy, swampy, hot. Humid. Yeah. And they're herbivores, so they'll just eat plants. Yeah. Huh. Well, no, I think they're omnivores. I always think fuck of fuck up a human. That's the other thing is that they're dangerous, though. Yeah. Know? Oh, I've heard that they're nasty. Like, mm. they're big and they just like, I've, well, yeah, whenever I think of hippo, I think of them like half submerged in water <laughs> with like flies. Yeah. I, I could see that. In Africa, apparently, uh, hippos account for the most uh, like animal based. Attacks, really? Yes, they're oh, very, like they're aggressive towards humans. Very, very, very aggressive towards humans. I mean, they're always hungry. Yeah, because there's the game about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they can't get enough. I mean, if you're carrying around white balls in your hand, they're really gonna get you. Yes, especially the black ball. There's like a couple black balls. Whew. <laughs> and, and these hippos, if you have eight balls, they're all all right. That's bad. <laughs> Because cocaine hippos. Get it? Like the eight ball is black and pool and eight ball cocaine hippo. <laughs> Boom. That's why Hungry Hungry Hippos, the what, eight ball is. Why, why do they call it an eight ball? Because it's an eighth. It's, it's an, an eighth? Eighth of an ounce of cocaine. So like you could call like an eighth ball? of weed an eight ball. It's just a nickname. No, I don't think anybody's calling it. <laughs> but that's essentially what it is. It's an eighth, eighth of an ounce. If I the same up, as if you get an eighth of an ounce of weed. If I go up to a dealer and I'm like, hey, give me an eight ball. 
They're not going to be like weed or cocaine. Well, yeah, that's because eight balls become the term for cocaine. Okay. But I'm I'm pretty sure it's because it's an eighth of an ounce. It's like a, a weight measurement. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I've never done it. Never bought it. Never. I don't know. I have never done it, but. I've been around enough people that have. Hey, but fuck it. When I was younger, Jones, this was like years and years ago. I had, yeah. a, I had a girlfriend and she enjoyed the stuff. Okay. Right? And it was Valentine's Day, and I was like, I'm going to copy you eight ball, baby. I got you. <laughs> uh-huh. Went and got it, brought it to her, and apparently it was, like, mostly, like, baking powder, soda. Well, oh, whatever they and, cut it with, yeah. Yeah. I mean, she, she said that she enjoyed it, but, you know, I was like, oh, sorry, I couldn't get you the good shit. Right. I, don't like, I, don't, I don't know how to, I don't know Right, the- that'd be like if you went to go find someone heroin, you'd be like, I, I don't, is, is this good? Exactly. <laughs> like, I've seen, like, crime dramas where, like, you, like, take your pinky and dip it and taste it. I don't know what the fuck I'm looking to taste for. Right, exactly. I'm not I don't tasting, know either. I'm not tasting this shit. You yeah. Know, you do whatever you want to with this I shit. Really, I've seen <laughs> people do it before. I've just never done it myself. Only on TV, honestly. I've never really even... Well, even you the parties your girlfriend, you, she didn't do it? I mean, I didn't really want to see that. I just did it just because, like, she liked it. And I was like, you know, if you like it, I don't necessarily agree. I'm not going to join you and don't do it in front of me because I don't need to know how much of And now freak. she's selling herself on the streets. No. <laughs> <laughs> you turned her out, tricked no, her out. She's a good chick. I actually checked out her Facebook, man. She ain't as good looking as she was back then, but, you know. She, Whatever. She's yeah, not like man. A kid, man. We all age different. Yeah, some of us have babies, and some of us get visectomies like oh. a smart man. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. Wow. They didn't hear that. Wow, dude. They didn't, you heard it. They didn't. I did hear it. He's mm-hmm. dropping. He's delivering baker's dozens of air biscuits Who to jealous. me over here. <laughs> We're not gonna make. Are we making fart jokes on the podcast. <laughs> You're making fart jokes. I the It's a natural body and mechanic. It is. It is. How did so? What was the story? How did you? How did you end up getting that stuff? In was it? Was it like? Would you just call? How did you? Did you know a guy who had it? Or are you, you like, asking me how I purchased cocaine? <laughs> not, not not like specifically. Like I went to John's house on at twenty two twenty two Jefferson Road. And, I'm not gonna implicate anybody. No, I just mean like, did you happen to know a man that did, or did you have to like actually put some effort in to find it for? Him? That's all I meant. Are I didn't you wearing mean, a wire? I'll take my shirt off if you want. <laughs> Are you wearing a wire? All I meant was like, how hard was it to pr- procure? Um, well, because I don't really know how to like buy like illicit narcotic. Right. Like, I I just ended up. I think it came up in conversation with somebody I was working with. Oh, okay. At the time, you went to the mall and just held a sign up like at the airport. Yeah, <laughs> just said cocaine. Because <laughs> like, I, I'm assuming that they knew, and maybe she had purchased from them before or something. Right, or maybe right. she was looking, or they just let me know. Um, some hood chick. I, I remember the person oh, who I you? went through. Yeah. Uh, she, oh, so you you got it through a fr- through a uh, an acquaintance. Yes. it wasn't like you didn't know she, the. She was yeah. some a very a very very urban white chick. Very yeah. very urban white chick. Oh yeah, extremely, extremely. <laughs> I guess I don't like the term urban. She was just yeah, she was hood. She Let's was that. She hood was ass hood. white girl. <laughs> yeah, and she had a uh, her boyfriend was a Puerto Rican dude, and they sold me some some cocaine. I guess. <laughs> Am I going to go to jail? No. <laughs> we're, we're just telling stories. They're not real. It's, yeah, that's true. Nothing. Yeah. Truth, not fact. Yeah, we're truth, not fact. Dude, we said, we talk about so much bullshit on this podcast. It's it, not about... It is very weird to buy cocaine not being a guy who buys cocaine. <laughs> I can imagine. It'd be like a guy buying sex when you're a guy that doesn't buy sex. Yeah, it's like you go in and you're like, okay, sir, I'd like an eight ball of cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> like from like from uh, half baked, yeah. where he's all like, "I would like some of your best cocaine." He's like, "Oh, some candy," and you're like, "No, I want some cocaine." <laughs> and then he like hands me, so I like go in the house and it's like, of of course he's got like the cocaine in a sock drawer. <laughs> He's like, yeah, just come over here. I'm like, okay, my dude. It's like in his baby's crib yep. under the mattress. I'm like clutching the money in both hands as we walk over to his side. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Oh, I have the money in both hands as we walk over to a sock drawer. In the sock drawer is a bunch of baggies with like the stuff in it. And of course a handgun because you know. Because the cops would never find coke in a sock drawer. Dude, I don't know. Like, why not just have it? Like, if you're going to have it in your sock drawer, why not just have it in a fucking box on the table? Like, 
It's going to be just as easily found. I, I'm I beg to differ on that I'm one. I'm joking. <laughs> but, I mean, it was... Now that I'm thinking back, I guess the bathroom was right there, so you could have just, like, scooped them all out of the sock drawer and flushed oh, them, I got if you. need be. I got you. But, naturally, uh, I don't know. I made it unscathed, dude. I survived my first and only cocaine <laughs> your, your, purchase. Your cocaine cherry popper? <laughs> Jesus. I don't suggest it to anybody, all right? I don't, I like don't, I said, I've I don't never either. done Don't do stuff. drugs, kids. Absolutely not. Yeah, so. But it, it was an experience, you know, one that I don't regret, but... Yeah, I've had some experiences that I'm like, eh, probably shouldn't have done that, but I made it out. <laughs> very, very far from a Pablo Escobar myself. Oh, yeah, dude. Fucking hippos in Colombia, dude. I think I heard a story about that. How they've like they got loose and they just started fucking. Yeah, this is this is uh, recent. This is in the last last week that the, that crazy. the story came out. So crazy. So watch out for hippos if you're going to Colombia or Washington D.C. We ain't going anywhere right now. <laughs> 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 with those serious eyes <laughs> <laughs> you motherfucker all right Jim. all right that is all the time we have for today's episode please make sure we ain't to going like... anywhere right now <laughs> so you're you're not allowed mister uh like the other day i was like you're allowed to eat <laughs> uh please make sure to like and subscribe our youtube channel crazy down media uh, or follow us on itunes or soundcloud or, or spotify or anywhere else because we're every we are everywhere get on the freaking youtube all right Love for Jonas. TNT Dynamite. We'll catch you on the next one. We are Ota.